Hi, welcome back to Boxwood Avenue. Today I am going to be sharing some of my favorite fall entertaining tips as the seasons start to change and we're starting to think about the holidays and welcoming guests into our home. I have a few recipes and ideas that hopefully will inspire you and make your home feel a little more cozy throughout the next season. A super big thank you to Walmart for sponsoring this video. When I start to think about fall and entertaining, I think of coziness. As the seasons start to change and it's cooler outside, we're all indoors, and I like to think of ways that just make things feel a little bit cozier, or make us want to like put a sweater on, kick off our shoes, and curl up and read a book. One of the ways that I love to do that is through scent. And I love burning candles, and I know not everybody likes to burn scented candles all of the time. So I want to share one of my favorite recipes. It's actually a really popular recipe on the blog for a simmering potpourri. This is traditionally a stovetop potpourri, that recipe that I have on my blog. But I'm going to show you how to make it um, in the crock pot. I got a new crock pot, and it's so beautiful. It looks gorgeous sitting out on my counter. This is actually from Walmart. And I'm going to show you how to add everything in there and just kind of keep it on low, simmering throughout the day, and it will make your house smell so good. If you've never made a stovetop potpourri, I really encourage you to try it because it really makes your house smell so good. And I love the smell of cinnamon. You can get creative with it. I'm going to be using allspice, cloves, cinnamon. I'm going to use a little bit of citrus. You can also add in some fresh herbs. But this is an all-natural way to really just make your house smell and feel really cozy. I'm just going to add in a couple of cinnamon sticks. You could do like one or two. And then some whole cloves and whole allspice. Then I'll add in some citrus and pomegranate. You can also add in cranberries or fresh herbs. And then I'm going to fill this up with water and just let it simmer on low. And that's that, it's so simple. And if you haven't ever tried this, I am so excited for you to give it a try because it's gonna make your house smell so good. Another way that I like to kind of spruce up the house if I'm entertaining for fall, if I have somebody coming over, or I have some company staying, I like to bring in branches. In the winter time, I will bring in pine branches, and then in the fall, as all of the leaves start to change in the beautiful colors, I like to just go outside and clip branches off of my tree, which is what I did here. The beautiful fall colors instantly make your house just feel a little bit more festive and a little bit cozier. So if I have some guests staying the night um, in my guest bedroom, I make sure that I'll go and clip some branches. In the springtime, I do flowers, but then in the fall, I like to do um, fall branches. If fresh branches aren't your thing, you don't have access to them, I also really like dried branches. I get these, oh, well, you can dry things naturally. So like I have some branches throughout my house that are just dried because they died in their base. Uh, but you can also get dried like hydrangea or dried magnolia branches. And I think that both of those feel really festive in the fall. And so that's another great way to just add some life without it being like a faux floral. And if you don't have access to something that is alive. Personally, I don't love decorating with themed type items except for when it's like an organic kind of natural thing so I like to use whatever's in season I have pomegranates I love these little cute pumpkins and I just buy a couple of them at the grocery store you can get them at Walmart and I just kind of dot them throughout my house just like a little sprinkle in so that it doesn't feel like fall like you have a fall themed house. I mean, you can do that if that's what you want. But for me personally, I just like it to be a little bit more minimal and a little bit understated. So I'll pick up a couple of pumpkins. I really like the like Cinderella pumpkins and the other kind of like muted tone pumpkins. And I just dot them throughout my house. I'll show you how I do just a centerpiece. And I just leave this centerpiece on my dining table like throughout the season. And I just add in some dried branches, some uh, produce some like festive produce and then a few pumpkins and of course candles and it's just an instant um, kind of centerpiece that really doesn't take much effort it doesn't really cost much money and it feels really really festive when you're entertaining and people are coming over I really like everybody to feel super welcomed and one way that I do that is through textiles we talk about textiles a lot in design but when the season starts to change and it's cooling down I like to bring in like chunkier heavyweight like an alpaca or a wool blend blanket 
I like to change out my throw pillows for something that's a color palette that sort of fits within the season. And I think that that's just an easy way to make the house kind of feel refreshed as you're welcoming people into your home. And so I like to do like something that's really, really tactical and that just makes people want to curl up on the sofa. If you're planning a dinner party or you're having company over and you want it to feel a bit festive or you're having a special dinner or something like that, I like to use special plates and bowls um, and flatware for the table. I think that it just makes it feel a little bit more elevated. You can use napkins that feel in line with the overall color palette. I found these beautiful mustard plates and bowls at Walmart, and I think these with like a chunky linen napkin will be so beautiful for any upcoming dinners or parties that I'm having. When I'm thinking about decorating with produce and things like that, most of the time I like to find some way to corral them so it feels kind of almost like a harvest. So I found this cute little tray, decorative tray here, and I just have like my eggs sitting on it with all my little festive cute uh, things like my pumpkins and then some greenery. And I think that that's just like a really easy centerpiece. You can move it if you need to, if you have people coming over, um, but I think that corralling things. You could add candles if you wanted to do a centerpiece on your dining table. That's a really easy way to make things feel collected and curated. Just a simple little centerpiece. One of the easiest ways to make something feel cozy is to light a candle. And like I mentioned, I know not everybody loves to burn scented candles, but I just like to burn unscented candles like in mass. I love having like 10 of them lit especially on a dining table, so I almost always have that in even everyday dinner. I just light the candles because I think it makes it feel really special and just intimate and cozy. There's no, there's no reason to not celebrate every single day that way, so I really like to light candles. I also, um, like, I just personally do yoga and meditation almost every single night, and I just have all of the candles lit, and it makes everything feel cozy. So throughout my home, I just take unscented candles and I plop them in any sort of vessel that I can find and I have them burning like pretty much all the time. But it's just a great way to make things feel cozy. So if you're having a dinner party, you can kind of sprinkle them throughout your house, making sure they're in a safe area, um, but it will make the, just everything feel a little bit more intimate and welcoming. If you have some company coming over, I think that one of the greatest gifts you can give them is a really good night's sleep. And so I like to really overdo the bed with cozy blankets, a nice throw. I like to keep a candle, of course, by the side of the bed with some greenery. And I think that just that extra little bit of intention, like you could have some mist for the pillows or you could have something that just makes things feel a little bit more special, it will go a long way. I hope that you found these fall entertaining tips helpful. I'll put links to all of my sources and resources in the description below. I'll also put a link to the recipe for the crock pot potpourri. And don't forget, you can always visit me at boxofavenue.com. You can shop anytime at Box of Avenue Mercantile. And if you're interested in our design services, the website you can find more information at is design.boxofavenue.com.